G'day guys, it's Wayne here. This is the first of our Crutchmaster training DVDs. We're going to call this one the Attitude. We've got a number of Crutchmaster systems out there now and they're working well and we've got lots more coming on stream and so that's really exciting for us and I think it's high time that I got my A into G and got some information out there to everyone about what we consider might be the best way to operate the Crutchmaster, perhaps some best practice guidelines. Uh, now look, I'm not here to tell anyone how to suck eggs. Uh, you know, we've got some fantastic operators out there. I do have the advantage of not only having worked on the Crutchmaster a lot myself, um, but I've seen a lot of people operate it. So I've seen lots of different ways and you learn a lot because everyone's developed their own way to do it. So what I'd like to do is, is use these videos to perhaps show what, what I consider to be the best way to operate it. Firstly, the philosophy behind our Crutchmaster system. It's actually quite simple. We've designed it to stay out of your way. We've designed the machine around the crutching process, not the crutching process around the machine. There's a big difference. We've made it so that in a very short space of time, you're going to forget you're actually on a machine and you're just going to be crutching sheep. You just won't be bending down or dragging them out. Now we, look, we could have put bells and whistles on it and squeezed it here and restrained it there and clamped it there. That's all very well and good for the first couple of hours. But once you get used to it, if you're using a system like that, you're constantly restrained and you're having to move things out of the way to be able to operate it. And with that Crutchmaster system, we've made it so that once you get used to it, you're just crutching a sheet. You're never restrained and you can work as hard and as fast as you want to. And we would suggest you work fast rather than hard. Now, one of the reasons we've designed it that way is don't let the fact that I'm sitting here talking into a laptop fool you. I'm from the sharing industry. I've walked in and out of that catching pen six or 700,000 times. I know the industry well. And the thing I like most about the industry is its competitive nature. I love the fact that we take two or three young guys and we throw them in a wool shed and instantly they want to race. One of them wants to be the top dog. I think that's a healthy attitude. We wanted to keep that on our Crutchmaster systems and I believe we have. We see it now all the time that on our systems there's a top dog. There's another guy who wants to beat him. We take three young guys and instantly they want to race. That's what gives it the energy and the drive and its productive nature. And I mean, let's be honest here. Most of the sheep, New Zealand and Australia, and obviously around the world, are crutched and shorn in the pubs at night, after 9 o'clock at night. That's when the tallies get big. We wanted that same attitude to come through on our Crutchmaster system. <clears throat> now, when I was a young fella and started shearing, I was taught to slow down and shear more. And when we're young and we start shearing, we've got our hand going a million miles an hour, and we've got blows everywhere, and we're getting nowhere fast. And we're told, slow down, make your blows count. Concentrate on your style and your pattern and the speed will come. And quite often in shearing, you see the, the better the shearer, the slower their hand actually moves. Now it's the same on a crutch master system. When people start off, I say, just relax. Take it easy. Concentrate on your blows. Concentrate on your style and your pattern. Especially, for instance, if you're a shearer. Now if you're a shearer and you've done three or four hundred thousand sheep in a wool shed, you've been crutching for that long, you'll be able to do it really easy. It'll be a piece of piss and you'll know what you're doing and it'll feel comfortable. And you're going onto a system that straight away feels unnatural because you haven't done it that way. Okay, So you need to give it the time of day. You, it's no good doing 2, 3, 10, 20 sheep on a crutch master and comparing it to something you've done three or 400,000 times. You need to give yourself the time. Okay, You give yourself the time and I can assure you that if you concentrate on the blows and the pattern and your style, the speed will come. We've proven it time and time again. Now the reason the speed will come is this. You can't actually crutch the sheep any quicker. You still have to put your handpiece through the wool. You still have to take the same blows and you're doing them pretty much the same way that you would in a wool shed. You're just not bending down and you're just not dragging the sheep out. But the reason the speed will come is that there's less downtime. From when you finish crutching a sheep to when you start the next, you've got a lot less downtime. Okay, Instead of having to put your handpiece down and walk into the catching pen, Tip over a big fat sheep or drag a sheep out and take it back out of the pen and it's going to take you about 12 to 20 seconds to do that there in a wool shed. On a Crutchmaster system you're going to be between 5 and 8 seconds. Okay? Now I'm about to show you a video of the system working and it's just going to show you the down trip, the downtime in a wool shed and the downtime on a Crutchmaster. So one's 12 seconds, one's 5 seconds. That'll show you that if you can just concentrate on the blows and the pattern and the style the speed will come automatically.
So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of where the speed comes from. And it's like I said, a lot of people, it's actually like you've got someone dragging sheep back for you. You just don't have to pay them. That's pretty good, eh? Now in closing, I just want to say, the main thing is, let us help you. If you've got any questions, ideas, thoughts, get a hold of us. Let us help you. We might be able to put you in contact with people out there who are already operating our crutch masters around there, going well. We might be able to send you videos, send you ideas, thoughts. We want to help. And we can only help you if you let us know that you need help. That's what we're there to do. Now, this is the end of this video. The second video is coming up. It's going to be called the setup. We'll be going over the setup, best practice setup for the Crutchmaster systems and how to do that there. So um, I look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.